We're lost. No kidding. This is Will Robinson of the 24th Colonist Group. I'm the first human to discover evidence of an alien intelligence. Have you ever seen the original series back from the 60s, Lost in Space? Well, I have seen it now, but when they first approached me about uh, this project, I, I hadn't seen it. I was sort of aware of it, and I had, a, I think, a kind of preconceived notion that it was, you know, robots and uh, cheesy sets. Uh, so I wasn't altogether sure that this right. was a good idea when they first approached me. <laughs> But then I read the script, and the script was really well written with this, the sort of heart of it was this really nuanced uh, relationships mm -hmm. between this family that felt to me like a, a very real, modern family. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and also just there were, it really, the first episode just plunges you right into the action, and it's this big adventure and it felt like that was a good combination you know also I knew that Netflix would have the resources to do it right and to make it a big spectacle in a right. way yeah. I hadn't seen the original series either okay. and I hadn't seen the film um, I was aware of it. I knew mm -hmm. kind of what it was. Swiss Family Robinson was set in space, mm -hmm. and <clears throat> that it was about this family, and there was a robot. Um, but w I, when I read the script, uh, I, I too was surprised about how much I related to the family. I wasn't kind of put off by them being some sort of idealized version of a family that doesn't exist. It was a very real family with complicated relationships between the husband and wife and between the kids. And that sort of seemed, it was grown up in a good way, not that it was going to alienate children, but it would make, a, you know, if you were watching this as a family, you would, mm -hmm. the kids would relate to the kids and the adventure and the family situations, but also adults would relate to the, the, the grown-ups yeah. and their difficulties mm -hmm. and struggles, you know. There's like a sophistication to the 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 dynamics and the writing that mm -hmm. I think sort of straddles this space that I have an 11 year old boy mm -hmm. and there's not that much that both he and I want to watch together that we would really both enjoy mm -hmm. so I feel like this show operates on that level and you use the word the adventure mm -hmm. and that was my the next question mm -hmm. After the shows like House of Cards, mm -hmm. of Goliath, or The Black Sails, mm -hmm. it was a different kind of adventure, I believe. Absolutely. Well, it, it's. I mean, I have to say, when 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 I first agreed to do the show, I think I had this idea that because it's sci-fi, we would be on a soundstage doing a lot of green screen and mm -hmm. dry. <laughs> but <laughs> and we did do some of that, but a lot of it is shot out uh, on location. So we shot mm -hmm. in and around Vancouver in Canada, where the landscape is sort of massive and quite spectacular. Uh, we shot on mountaintops and in mm -hmm. these huge rock quarries, and you shot on the glacier. Mm. So it's really this like dirt under your fingernails adventure. It has a very big, uh, big, big mm -hmm. sensibility. Uh -huh. and if you could go to space, would you do it? For real? And what planet would you choose to visit? <laughs> I mean, I have to say, I, I, I would miss Earth so much, you know? Right. And I don't really even like to fly, so I, I can't imagine, <laughs> like, putting on, you know... It, the, it's a great thing about acting. You get to pretend mm -hmm. and then go home at the end of the day. I mean, one of the, the, the things this show does is it makes you appreciate what we have, because right. I think... The, 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 the going into space and going to another planet is so fraught with danger mm -hmm. and you know there are it, um, this shows that it's not just something that hey let's just build a spaceship and go mm -hmm. and we'll, we'll inhabit another planet mm -hmm. everything is trying to kill you out there I mean it just is and um, and I, I, I think that's why I'd probably say unless somebody could guarantee me 100% that I would come down safely I think Earth is you know it's such a beautiful and wonderful place, and we should be very careful with it. We're quite boring, aren't we? The kids, no. if you ask the kids, they'd be like, yeah, yeah let's go! But we're parents, you know, <laughs> come on. And one word description for the show. It's impossible, one word. Um, Adventure. 
I'd say family. Okay. Family.